Hey there, Gina with Here Comes the Bride. Thanks so much for joining me. I know it's just a crazy time right now. You guys have all been scrambling with your brides rescheduling and I hope that you're doing well, you're staying sane and that you're using this time to focus on your business so that you can come out of this thing even stronger. And I know at Here Comes the Bride, we are busy working on a complete restructure, complete rebranding. And part of that is going to be our new Here Comes the Bride Pro website. So we're really excited about that. We're going to be offering lots of resources and support and education specifically for you, the bridal beauty stylist and bridal beauty agency. So we weren't planning on releasing any videos until we launched. Our launch date is scheduled for June 1st, but I just thought with everything that's going on, I really wanted to get out there and give you guys just a few things that you can do right now to kind of be working on your business. And like I said, to come out of this even stronger than ever on the other side. So it is an uncertain time and just like many of you, I've for sure had thoughts of fear and doubt creep in. I'm a single mom, I've got two kiddos and I've certainly seen a decrease in my business, but I know that I have a choice and I can definitely choose to stay positive during this time. And that's going to be the first key to get you through is, you know, that positive calm mind is going to be your best weapon against this crisis. And the second thing that you need to be doing right now is really stay connected. I follow a lot of you on Instagram and you're doing an amazing job of staying connected with your brides, letting them know what's going on with you in accommodating their weddings and what your policies are for the coronavirus. So just make sure that you're really staying in touch with them and staying connected, seeing how they're doing with all of these changes. And then another thing that I think is a really great idea to do right now is to connect with some stylists in your area that maybe you know and trust because more likely than not, you're gonna have some conflicts with scheduling and there are gonna be some brides that you're not gonna be able to accommodate their new date. So it would be really great if you had stylists that you could partner with during this time so that you can refer your brides to them and they can refer their brides to you whenever there are some scheduling conflicts and you're not able to accommodate. And then finally, really important to stay focused right now. So, you know, this too shall pass. We're not quite sure how long it's going to be, what it's going to look like, but we will get back to normal, even if it's kind of a new normal. So I think it's really important right now to stay focused on your business. What can you do right now to market your business now and going forward into the future? So obviously there are many different things you could be doing in your business right now, but I know a lot of you are kind of at a standstill. You're not quite sure what to do, or you're maybe finding it hard to get motivated to do something. So I wanted to put together um, eight projects that you can work on right now. Many of them are going to be things that are pretty quick and easy and free to do. Um, and then I've got a couple other ones that are a little bit more ambitious. So let me go over those with you now. So the first project that I have that you may want to work on right now is a little business spring cleaning. So most likely you're in a lot of different places online. You've got your website, you've got your social media, you're maybe on review websites like Yelp, you're on wedding websites like The Knot. And a lot of times what happens is we place these ads or these listings and then we kind of forget about them. But what happens is then the information on there sometimes becomes outdated. Um, it's not accurate. It's not consistent. I see this a lot. So what you want to do is just take a little time, go through your website, your social media and your listings that are online. Make sure everything's up to date and everything's consistent. And it may seem like a small little thing, but when brides are looking for a stylist, they really are looking everywhere. And sometimes these little inaccuracies and inconsistencies can be frustrating and it doesn't make you seem like you're maybe as professional as you are. So it's going to take just very little time to go through, make sure everything's up to date. Another suggestion is that um, you may have forgotten places that you're listed. So go through the ones that you know about and then also Google your business and just put your business name in Google and see if any other listings come up that you may have forgotten about. And then my final tip for this project is create a Word doc or a Google doc and write out all of your business information. So your business name, description, the products and services you offer, obviously your contact information, all your social media links, and um, 
that way you're going to have it so that when you're going through all these listings you can really easily and quickly just copy and paste all the information the next project is going to be your social media and connecting your account. So most of you are pretty active on Instagram. Instagram is an amazing platform for marketing bridal beauty services. But what you may not know is that with one click, you can post not only to Instagram, but also to Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And yes, I do suggest that you set up a Twitter and Tumblr account. It may not seem like it's that, you know, it's not the first thing you think about when you think of bridal beauty, but the reason I suggest you set them up is because it is more exposure. It's gonna help increase your SEO. And once those sites are set up, again, when you connect your accounts through Instagram and you click post, you can set it up so that it automatically posts to all of those sites. So besides the initial setup, it's no more time for just that extra added exposure and visibility. And I didn't want this video to be too long, so I did include quite a few resources and I have links for instructions on how to, first of all, connect your Instagram account with your Facebook, um, and then with your Twitter and your Tumblr, and I also have links on how to set up a Facebook business page, a Twitter account, and a Tumblr in case you don't have those already set up. So the third project that you may want to work on right now is something that's really going to save you a lot of time. It's going to be pretty quick and easy to set up, and that's automating your messages. So first of all, through Facebook, you can go through and you can set up an auto reply um, that's going to reply to any message that comes in and then you can obviously get to them and, and answer them more specifically, but you can set up that auto reply for anything that comes in just to let people know when you will get back to them. This is really cool in Instagram and a lot of people don't know about this. You can set up quick replies in Instagram for your messages. So if there are messages that you get a lot, like maybe say from interest, interested brides wondering about your services or whatever it is, you can go through and again in the resources I have more detailed instructions but it's basically through your edit settings and then you click on business and then there's a um, tab for quick replies and you can set up as many as you want for any different message that you get quite a bit when you get that message from someone you can just hit that quick reply you can personalize it a little bit if you want to and you're good to go so it's a really cool tool and then there are also programs and apps that you can use they do cost a little bit of money but if you are very active on instagram and you find yourself writing a lot of messages these are these are programs and apps that you can go in and you can set up different messages that will automatically reply based on keywords that you put in so that's something that's really cool again it's going to save you a lot of time and once you have this set up i strongly suggest it's a really great marketing technique is that you go in and you monitor your followers anytime you get a new follower that you do welcome them especially if they are someone that looks like an interested bride just let them know you're here for them and you know obviously you can answer any questions that they may have and then finally your gmail account so for years and years i've always talked about how important it is to automate everything so i used to have a word document and i would compile these templates of um, emails for frequently asked questions for interested brides for brides that had questions and then when i would need to send out that email i would go to my word document and i would copy and paste it and that did save a lot of time but now with a feature in gmail you can save even more time you can actually set up templates within gmail so that when you go to compose an email or answer an email reply to one you simply click on template and then choose the template that you want personalize it a little bit and send it out it really saves you a lot of time so again all of the instructions are in the resources along with this video many of you like i mentioned are very active on instagram and one thing that i'm really surprised that i see is that a lot of you are not using hashtags and if you're going to take the time to post to instagram you really need to be using hashtags and what i see more than that though is that many of you are using very broad terms so you're using terms like hashtag bride hashtag wedding and the problem with that is that you're not attracting 
that bride that's in your area and who is likely to book you. So what you wanna do is you really want to focus more locally when you're creating your hashtags. And how you do that is first of all, I want you to kind of brainstorm, think about what a bride would be searching for if she was looking for services in your area. So you're gonna take those more broad terms and you're going to make them local by adding your location. So for instance, instead of hashtag bride, it would be hashtag Seattle bride, or instead of hashtag wedding, it would be hashtag New York wedding. And then search those terms. And what we're looking for is really kind of that sweet spot. We want somewhere maybe between like 20,000 and 200,000 um, posts. And that's gonna give you enough visibility that you know people are searching for that term, but not so much that you're gonna get lost in a sea of photos. And um, one thing to kind of point out when I was, I was kind of doing a little research, the hashtags for local hair and makeup are not that popular. So what I would suggest you do is include other local wedding service hashtags. So for instance, I looked up New York wedding hair and there were only 693 posts. But when I searched New York wedding photographer, there were 173,000 posts. So that's a really nice number where there's enough to get that visibility, but not so many that you're gonna get lost. So even though you're not a photographer, a potential bride that's in your area is searching that term. So she hopefully will see that picture of that beautiful hair and makeup, come to your feed and become familiar with your business. And then finally, um, I do suggest that you test your hashtag. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. On Instagram, you can view the insights and see how much interaction you have based on your hashtags, but it's not gonna give you specific um, information for each specific hashtag. So if you want that kind of information, you will have to use an outside app or program. There is usually a little bit of a cost to that, but if Instagram is one of your main marketing tools, that's something you may want to look into. So the most important thing, like I said, is really just focus on those local hashtags. I know for me personally, and I would imagine this is true for you, that you would rather have even one bride come to your feed that is a potential bride in your area than a thousand people who are never going to book you because they're all the way across the country or the world. So the next project is something you may have thought about doing, but you may think is very time consuming, and that is utilizing Pinterest as a platform. So yes, Pinterest is massive and there are a lot of different photos, but there are ways that you can focus locally on your pins. So again, I have a link in the resources, but things like just making sure you add that information to your profile, to all your descriptions and your photos. And then I know another thing that keep some people from using Pinterest is that they feel as though it's time consuming, but there actually is a tool that's a bulk pinner that you can go in and you can import all of your photos all at once and then go through and organize them into different boards. So if you've not used Pinterest or maybe you have, but you've kind of let it go a little bit, this might be a good time to get that all refreshed and updated, get your new photos on there. And then if you wanna get really fancy, you can go to one of my favorite sites, which is canva.com, where you can create some really beautiful graphics for some board covers, and that'll make your um, Pinterest profile even that much more professional. Next is listing your business on different websites. So there are a lot of different wedding directories and there are a lot of different business directories. And I have compiled a list of 25 of the top wedding and business directories. And most of these are going to allow you to place a free listing. So it's just a way really quickly and easily for you to gain even that much more exposure. It's gonna help with your SEO, which is gonna increase your chance of getting ranked higher on Google. So I definitely suggest you take that list from the first project where you kind of wrote out all of your business information and just go through and list your business on all of these free websites. There's, there's no reason why you shouldn't. It's not gonna take a lot of time. It's not gonna take any money. Um, and along with these national directories, I know there are also a lot of local directories. So what you wanna do is just Google wedding directories in your city. So wedding directories 
in Seattle, wedding directories in New York, or business directories. You can even put in free business directories, New York, see what comes up. And again, um, it's just, it's, it doesn't cost you any money, doesn't take a lot of time, and it's just going to give you even that much more visibility and increase your Google ranking. Okay, so now we're getting into a little bit more ambitious projects. So once you get those first six done, which are going to be really quick, really easy, not going to cost you any money, this is my next, next suggestion, and that is to set up a CRM account. So for those of you that don't know what that is, it stands for Customer Relationship Management. And basically all that is, is a way for you to automate and systematize your contact with your interested brides, your booked brides, and your vendors. And I didn't give you any specific recommendations only because there are so many different options out there. There are CRM programs that are very, very simple and there's there are ones that are very involved. So I know some of the stylists I've worked with have used sites such as HoneyBook or 17 Hats. And these are sites that not only are going to help you with your email correspondence, they're gonna help you with workflow, with invo invoicing, with scheduling, with payments. And they're, they're amazing, they do so many things. But a lot of people will ask me, you know, well, what do you think is the best program to use? And I really usually tell people that the best program to use is one that they will use consistently. And that's gonna mean something different to everyone. Some people are more tech savvy and they're not as easily intimidated by these programs. Some people, it's just too much for them to handle. So what I suggest that you do is Google CRM for wedding and Google CRM for stylus and start there because there are a lot of programs that are made specifically for those niches and they do kind of fit the bill for what services you're offering and kind of just check them out and do a little research and see which one works best for you. I personally use a CRM called Copper because it is the only CRM that is connected directly to your Gmail. It's a much, much simpler system. So those are a couple that you can kind of check out, but if you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you um, give you any specific advice for setting up a CRM account. And I'm telling you, once you do, I know it's gonna be a little time consuming maybe in the beginning. There might be a little bit of a learning curve, but if you take the time to get these accounts set up, they will completely change the way that you run your business and they will make your marketing so much more effective. They will make you so much more productive and it's really gonna be worth it in the long run. So the final and probably most ambitious project is a content marketing campaign. So you may have heard of that term. You may not be sure exactly what that means, but I know that you've seen it out there. So content marketing is when you see these free videos, these free reports, you basically just have to give your email and then you can download them for free. So a lot of people in the beauty industry and in the bridal industry aren't really using this marketing technique but it is a really, really great technique. And again, the basic premise is um, content for contact. So I give you some valuable and useful content or information in exchange for you giving me your contact information. And this is an incredibly effective marketing tool. So some of the things that you may consider wanting to do are say a report about, you know, the eight things you must know before hiring a bridal stylist, or maybe you want to do a video that's the six steps for choosing the perfect wedding hair and makeup, or it might not even be a bad idea to do something that's very, um, you know, appropriate to what's going on right now and offering helpful tips and resources to make rescheduling your wedding less of a hassle. Um, anything that you can do that just, again, gives someone valuable information, valuable content. But there are a couple rules to making sure that this is an effective marketing technique. And the first one is that you really do have to have great content. So don't just throw something together. It really needs to be very well written, well researched. If you're doing a video, it has to be very well presented. The information has to be very valuable. People are just 
very sensitive about their time and if they do kind of give you their information you want to really use this as an opportunity to show them that you really know your stuff so along with great content you want to make sure that you have really great follow-up so once you have that email address again people are really sick of giving their email address and then they're just bombarded with a million emails of people only trying to sell them so you really want to use that bride's contact just as a way to really nurture and foster that relationship and just know that you giving that that information and, and impressing them with your knowledge is really going to be a lot of times all you need to really gain that trust and get them to become a paying customer okay so i know i've given you a lot of information and just kind of something to help you start get the ball rolling get the momentum going in case you've kind of been in a little bit of a funk let's really use this time to focus i want to just kind of recap so we've got that business spring cleaning where you're going to go through and you're going to really clean up all of those listings make sure everything's accurate and consistent connect those accounts so that when you're posting to instagram it just immediately goes to all those other sites and you get that added exposure and visibility automate those messages that's going to save you so much time and allow you to more easily and quickly connect with your brides research those hashtags again if you're posting to instagram really make it worth your while and and research those hashtags that are going to target that local bride that's more likely to book you and then pin your photos that's something you can do really quickly and easily again to give you that added extra exposure and visibility list your business on those wedding and business websites and those first six are going to be easy quick and really inexpensive or free to do and then our more ambitious projects setting up that crm account and creating that content marketing campaign and just so you guys know i really want to hear from you if there are any of these subjects i've included the links and the resources but if there's anything that you want me to go into a little bit more detail, maybe do a training or a video on a specific subject, please do let me know that. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that I've given you just a little inspiration to kind of stay focused and really um, do what you can right now in your business. I know coming out of this crisis as a business owner, it's sure to have some challenges, but it really is those challenges that show us who we are and remember that you get to decide. So right now, I really want you to make the decision that you're gonna use this time to focus on your business and that you're gonna come out of this thing even stronger and more successful than ever. Thanks again so much. I'm here if you need me and I'll talk to you soon.